So this idea that you have that you should not gear a, a web series towards some void that's currently not been filled out there, is that embraced by other filmmakers or web series directors? And have you met any opposition? Yes. Um, I've been asked if my show was a hobby because I didn't talk about demographics and sponsorship. I talked about story and audience and working with Emmy winners and Tony winners and, you know, I, I think part of the problem with the web series community is that a lot of people want to be pioneers and veterans and this is not old enough to have veterans. This has not been, I wrote for a web series in 2000 for Mondo Media up in San Francisco, paid gig. Their model was syndication to newspapers. So a newspaper like the, uh, the Washington Post would buy syndication rights to their animated show to have on their website as content. And that would be the place that it would show up. And that was the revenue stream. So they could afford to fly me from LA to San Francisco, pitch, come back and write. Mm -hmm. Then in 2007, I directed uh, one show and produced another show for Super Deluxe, which was uh, superdeluxe.com, which was Turner Entertainment. So they had lots and lots of money. And it was great. And they paid us all. It was great. Uh, I am not a veteran. Uh, cause this hasn't been around long enough for there to be veterans. We're not pioneering an industry. We're just storytellers that are posting stuff online. That's been going on since the mid-90s. What's changed is behavior, is the acceptance that I'm going to watch a television show on my phone for 45 minutes while I'm at the airport. That wasn't a value that was held by humanity. That wasn't, people didn't think, oh, I'll, gonna, I'll just go watch on Hulu. Oh, Netflix has now an original series. You can only watch it on Netflix. They're going to make more. Like, that has been where this is all headed. So this idea of a drama should be a four-minute episode, a comedy should be no longer than a three-minute episode, and uh, it needs to have something that gum could sponsor. Uh, building stories up from the demographics, to me, is just like, here's the keys to the kingdom. Now. Do you want to use any of them, or do you want to act and emulate an industry that has been fucking storytellers for going on a century now? Because the people with the money get to make the decisions, and the people who tell the stories don't. Here you are. You have everything. All you need is money and to figure out some fucking way to do it. That's all you need to do. Why are you thinking about, well, who could sponsor this? Because you need money. Well, how can we make it cheaper so we don't need a sponsor, so I can tell the story I want, so I can not have to meet a three-minute thing? Because the people who say, don't make it longer than three minutes, don't make it longer than five minutes, you know, they're looking at the analytics on YouTube going, well, when do we lose the audience? When do they fall off? Who are you? Are you trying to create a viral video? Because now you're wasting your time. No one can create a viral video. If you look at the history of viral videos, something happens it's not that they're just made and they're put online and they go viral. Something happens, someone refers to it, something mentions it. There, there's a number of blogs, uh, uh, even things that are in the news now. That happened a month ago, now they're a big viral thing. You can't make it happen. So why are you pretending you can? Why are you pretending to be a producer that walks around with my, well, here's all my demographics and here's my business plan and really, is that, is that what you're dreaming about when you were a kid? Is that what you wanted to do when you wanted to, oh, you know what, I'd love to fucking tell stories and make movies and wouldn't that be great? I wish there was some way I could fuck it up. What if I started to make all my stories based on demographics and pleasing the sponsorship and trying to get a company to say yes? Why the fuck would you do that now? This has never happened in history ever. We've never been here before. Why fuck it up with all the bullshit that's been fucking filmmakers for, you know, the indie thing, just go from 87 to now. It's been about, put it all on a credit card, get it in a film festival, get a distributor to go. Now, all those art houses are gone. The money is not there. The festivals are fucking overwhelmed with projects. It doesn't work anymore. And it's great that Kevin Smith has a giant audience, he can find his way. It's great that Edward Burns has a giant audience, he can find his way. The other thing is, do you ever want your own audience? How are you gonna get that? You know what you're gonna have to do? Start with one fan. And then you're only gonna have 50 fans, just like everybody else. 
and you're going to have to work to build that up if you want to be your own thing. But if you want to be an employee for the factory that tells you what to do, that you have to fit in all these certain little things and do all this shit, then go do it. Enjoy yourself. Put on your fucking suit. Hold up your business degree. I just want to tell stories. If that's what you want to do, here's all the freedom in the world. Figure it out. Stop acting like everyone else. Because you know what? Everyone else is doing the same thing. They're all trying to figure out the what shits, what girls say about sh what shit this says. And what It's such a waste of time. Like, you can finally get around all the bullshit. Why would you make the bullshit part of the process? It doesn't need to be. And that's what bugs the crap out of the web series world. It's just too many people want a picture on a red carpet with a step and repeat banner behind them. Too many people want another award, another award, another award. Who gives a fuck about all that stuff? Yeah, it helps with marketing. So does talking to your audience every day about your story. Guess what they want to hear about? They want to hear you talk about your story. That's more interesting to them. Not all of them. Not everybody cares. Some people just want to go and watch something, go away. I don't care who made it. I don't care who those people are. It's a great story. Don't. Other people, who made this? Where did this come from? Who? That's, and to have those people, that's really cool. To have, to have somebody in England go, I've been going through a really hard time in my life and I found your show and it, and it made me laugh and it made me forget about my kid who's sick and it made me forget about being unemployed. I'll take that over every award. Fuck awards, fuck a, a reviewer saying, good job, you know, to have someone say, who is not part of an industry, your story affected me. I'll take that.